Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Uh, this uh, past weekend, uh, we've been uh, contemplating um, a, a maintenance repair procedure that involves soldering operations. So we have our uh, maintenance glove box available along with our soldering iron, and that spawned this uh, version of Saturday Morning Science. And what we're doing here is going to make our standard thin film where we have a 50 millimeter diameter wire loop and we're going to pull the thin film by uh, placing our two dimensional beaker which is our Ziploc baggie over the film. And, and here, here we have uh, the film, it's got some small bubbles in it. And what we can do now, and remember we've got the soldering iron out, and we've got our maintenance work area out. Uh, so I'm going to look at Marangoni convection driven by the tip of the soldering iron. And, and uh, a few weeks ago, we uh, investigated Marangoni convection where the heat source was a flashlight, and it would drive small convection patterns within one of these uh, thin films, but here with the hot tip of the soldering iron, you can see you get rather rigorous convection patterns up right away as soon as the tip of the soldering iron goes into this water film. Our maintenance work area glove box is a really nice facility. It's a, it's a clear plastic tent with these tent poles that kind of pop up and uh, has glove port allows you to do operations like soldering without having to worry about uh, fumes and uh, with uh, hot blobs of solder floating around. So uh, here we can use our soldering iron with small quantities of water basically and not have to worry about uh, uh, getting hot water around. And here's, here's a close-up of the tip. You can see the little air bubbles in the water convecting around due to the surface tension driven convection uh, caused by the hot tip of the soldering iron. And these convection patterns develop almost immediately upon uh, uh, the heat source being added to the water and they're quite rigorous convection cells which uh, stir the the film uh, uh, intensely, and now you can actually see little gas bubbles forming on the tip of the soldering iron as the water starts to heat up. And the convection uh, is uh, sufficient to pull the bubbles off of the tip and keep a uh, fresh supply of water flowing across the tip of the soldering iron. like this, you like to keep the geometry simple so that uh, you can describe what's going to happen with uh, easier mathematical equations. And with the tip of the soldering iron leaning over like this in the water, it makes rather a difficult geometry to analyze. So later on, we will keep the soldering iron perpendicular to the film. Here you can see uh, in the film, a uh, full rolling boil has developed and you see gas bubbles forming at the heated surface on the barrel now of the soldering iron. And the bubbles are expelled from the surface by the convection that's developed uh, within the film and new water circulates around and gets heated. Yeah, and I found this quite amazing because the first order of the boiling process here does not look that much different than the boiling you see on the bottom of your uh, pot uh, in the kitchen at home when you're trying to cook dinner. And there, uh, gravitational driven buoyancy supposedly is what removes the bubbles from the, the heated surface and uh, the buoyancy driven convection uh, driven by gravity uh, keeps they stirred around. But here we do not have any of those forces available and other forces uh, uh, spring forth and, and take the place and, and cause convection uh, to occur in a manner that, that the first order, 
not that much different than what you would see on the ground uh, boiling uh, water in a pot. And again, the quantities of water here are just a few milliliters. Gravity, 
So a process which it may be common on Earth has, a, has gravitational forces involved, and you remove the gravitational forces, and you can see what the process would be like without the, the, the gravity-driven forces. And, and this is a, a good example of that. And, and the surprising, the, the thing that surprised me about this was uh, how, how the boiling process appears to be uh, almost like what you would see uh, uh, on the ground. gloves available to put over the, the standard gloves that are in the glove box. So your little piece inside the glove box uh, can, can be protected. 